Hello, I'm Reed Duke, and I'd like to welcome you to my course here on Spikes Academy, where we'll cover the modern format. If you're already a modern specialist, that's great. You'll have a big head start. But for those of you who might be coming from a more general magic background, I'll start by pinning down modern's position relative to the other commonly played constructed formats. I think about modern and legacy in much the same way. Both are fast and unforgiving, and both formats ask you to emphasize efficiency. For example, you wouldn't want to be spending three mana for an effect that you could be getting for two mana. You wouldn't want to be casting Banefire when you could get the same effect out of a Lightning Bolt for a lower mana cost. You wouldn't want to be casting Steel Leaf Champion when you can get those same stats in terms of power and toughness from a Tarmogoyf. Modern and Legacy have lots of overlap, but they also feature a couple of key differences. First, Modern lacks the card filtering of Legacy. Think Brainstorm, Ponder, and Preordain. A lot of the strategies that excel in Legacy, they're also possible in Modern, but achieving the same level of consistency in a Modern deck is going to be a lot more difficult, or at least it's going to come at a high deck building cost. Modern also lacks the fast mana of Legacy. Think Ancient Tomb and Dark Ritual. Most Modern decks are going to be restricted to adding one mana source to the battlefield each turn by playing a land. So if you can find a way to break that pattern, like with an Aether Vial in your Humans deck, or like by assembling Urzatron, you're going to have a big advantage. And if you can't find a way to break the pattern, your best bet is going to be simply to emphasize efficiently costed cards, like a lot of cards that cost 1, 2, and 3 mana. Finally, you won't find Wasteland, Days, and Force of Will in Modern. Legacy decks use these cards to build Universal Disruption into their main deck that's applicable against a wide variety of opponents. Modern players are going to have to work harder, often focusing on targeted sideboard cards for their disruption. If you're coming from a background in Standard, you're going to have to get used to the speed and efficiency of Modern. But what might actually surprise you more is the enormous variety of strategies that are possible in Modern. When you play Standard, most decks play normal magic. They're going to attack and block, they're going to kill creatures, and they're going to try to get ahead by either amassing more resources than the opponent, or by sticking a key threat. In modern, a lot of decks don't play this normal kind of magic. A good example would be Dredge, a deck that plays almost entirely out of its graveyard instead of playing out of its hand. Another example would be Urzatron. All this deck cares about is playing the most powerful threat that it possibly can as fast as it possibly can. Finding a way to combat the wide variety of unusual strategies is the key to modern and it's what makes it different from Standard. Finding a way to do it without the universal disruption of Wasteland Dazed and Force of Will is what makes it different from Legacy. These things together pose a huge problem, and it's the problem that we're going to be tackling over the course of the next handful of videos. On any given weekend, there are between 30 and 50 distinct archetypes that I wouldn't be surprised to see at the top tables of a modern tournament. In the following section, we'll cover some of the most important ones, and you'll get a feel for the wide range of strategies that are possible in this format.